for this moment, for the reporting of this moment, the FBI special agent in charge of the whole thing, the Grand Poobah here in New York, says the man down there in the puddle of water who shot at police officers and shot some police officers and was shot himself at least in the leg, it looks to us like maybe he was shot in the upper extremities too, uh, who's been treated, that he is a lone actor, a lone, sh sh may I, with your permission, a lone wolf. Uh, do we know that with a great deal of certitude? No, but we know they're not looking for anybody else. They don't think there's more out there. They're not on the hunt for a terror cell, as was reported here on this network, tied to law enforcement sources and to others and by others and all across the city that they, that they were looking for the possibility of a terror cell. They were. Special agent in charge says now they're not. To me, that's good. Rick Leventhal is live in Chelsea now. I'm guessing to you that's good, too. Yeah, absolutely, Shepard. Uh, however, I, I should say that I spoke with a member of the Joint Terrorism Task Force a short time ago who confirmed that there are no known additional suspects, so it may well be uh, that this guy was acting alone for the most part. But this person told me, uh, based on the circumstances of all four events, the two uh, pressure cooker bombs found here, the bombs at that uh, charity race down in New Jersey Saturday morning, and the pipe bombs found in Elizabeth, New Jersey at the train station Sunday night, based on those four events, this person told me it's highly likely that Rahami had help or support. No indication of who that might be. But again, this law enforcement source, a member of the Joint Terrorism Task Force, telling me that it is highly likely that he had some kind of support or some kind of help. So you better believe that they're continuing to investigate to determine who he's been speaking with, who he's been in contact with, and who might have helped him or supported him in the construction of these four uh, explosive devices, and you know there were several pipe bombs at two of the locations. So yeah. uh, he may have had help, but he is now in custody. Yes, certainly no reason to, to stop an investigation. But I remember being in Brussels, Rick, and after the Brussels investigations were going down, they had all, Brussels, Belgium, they had all of this information that led them to believe that there was a terror cell at work here, that this was a larger thing, mm -hmm. that there were people, they knew specific places, they knew specific contact, they, they had, had worked together and found, we think this is a terror cell, and they, knew, and they thought so pretty darn quick. In this case, that the head from the FBI, the special agent in charge is saying that, I, I don't know, it provides a little comfort to me that I'm not going to run across a few more of them later this afternoon. Well, and, and we all should be comforted by that, Shepard, and, and it's, it's absolutely good news. Uh, it does seem as if this person is connected to all four of these bombs, and at this point it looks like he planted them, and they, can, they tied the bombs to him, and now he's in custody. Whether he'll provide them with any more information is, remains to be seen. I did see an interesting article in one of the Boston newspapers, uh, Shepherd Online, which said that a friend of Rahami said that he was radicalized after he visited Afghanistan two years ago. We know uh, he's from Afghanistan. He's a naturalized U.S. citizen. This friend says he came back from Afghanistan a couple of years ago after a trip there and was a different person, uh, was radicalized, and I'm sure that's something else that the authorities will be looking into. Yeah, no doubt. I know you got to get off to, to, to work for the next hour, and I appreciate that and your participation and all your sure. great reporting over the weekend, Rick.